tough one to swallow there. It's another classic Miami Florida State game. This time we end up on the wrong side of it. Um, proud of the way that our team fought coming back at halftime, the way we played in the second half. Um, our guys just battled, battled, but you got to give them credit. They battled too. Um, obviously, they made a crucial play on the fourth down and long. Uh, and they found one more play than we did to win the game. So there's a lot of hurt in that locker room right now. Uh, we got to make sure we regroup, um, send our seniors and our outgoing players out with a great win um, in their last game at Hard Rock Stadium next week. Open up for questions. Thank you, Coach. If you have a question for Coach Diaz, please use the hand raise function on Zoom. And, Coach, we're going to start with Gary Furman from Kane Sport. Gary, go ahead. Hey, Manny, just incredible um, momentum swings in that game. Can you just take us into what you were thinking in the first quarter when it's 17 to nothing and everything seems to be going wrong and in a very tough environment? Yeah, we were, um, you know, we knew they'd come out with a lot, with, with a lot of energy. But we – we were our own worst enemy. I mean, obviously we were, you know, maybe overhyped, you know, we, we had penalties, couldn't stay on sides, you know, just, just things like that where we're, you know, we had to settle into the game. Uh, but, but you mentioned it, Gary, we knew it'd be a game of runs. We knew, we knew that there'd be momentum shifts. You know, we talk all the time about, you know, during the course of the week about what Miami Florida state games are like. Um, and even when we came in the locker room down 13, we said 13 is a bad score to be up by in a Miami Florida state game. It's just, that's just, you know what, what history has shown, and and um, our guys stood together, stayed, fought, and, um, and and obviously found a way to claw back. Coach, we'll go to Manny Navarro from the Athletic. Manny, go ahead. Hey, Manny. Uh, two two particular things I wanted to ask you about. One, obviously, you guys punted, put them back on the final possession, but uh, Cam ended up giving the big catch. Just kind of what happened on that play, and then second part is just you know timeouts. They get down to the one yard line. You guys had two left. Uh, I think 12 seconds ran off the clock before you called the timeout there. Just kind of what was going through your mind and whether or not to, to call the timeout or, or let the clock tick. Yeah, the um, the fourth down play, we played coverage. They had three guys out on the pass against uh, seven guys covering. So it's obviously very, very disappointing um, that they could find a window for, for three guys to get opening at seven. So that's just a, a lack of execution on our part. Um, Got to give – Travis credit for, for sticking the throw in there and the guy making the catch, but that's just um, the situation there at the end, you know, the debate there is, is do you let him score uh, with the ball being six inches away? Um, and so that was sort of the back and forth. We, you know, you, you had to kind of get a sense for what their tempo was going to be because obviously it's a different situation for them down by five. They can't waste too much time. Uh, so there was a little bit of just kind of getting to see what their tempo was. Obviously, we called the timeout of the first play, called the timeout of the second play to see what they were, what they were going to do. Um, and then obviously, eventually, they scored. We had, we had a chance uh, to get some throws. Obviously, you know, had a chance there on the last drive to potentially tie it up, but uh, ultimately ran out of time. Coach, we've got David Wilson from the Miami Herald. David, go ahead. Manny, a couple other just from that last sequence there. One, uh, obviously, a fourth and one there. You guys have been aggressive going for it on fourth down this year. Was there thought of going for it there rather than punting? It was It was one and a half. It, it, was, it was a longer one than just a one. Um, and in a five-point game, uh, like making them drive the, 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 the length, obviously, we had a chance to down the ball at the one-yard line. It's been a huge, huge play in the game. And sometimes those are just the – you know, we, we, we talk about in the Florida State uh, Miami series, we said, you know, you never know – which play is going to matter, and, and all those plays matter. So um, that was obviously going to be a big one. And obviously they get that drive going with that 60-yard pass. Just what did you see on that play? Well, they just – they they beat us one-on-one in man coverage, you know, which they hadn't really been able to, to do much of. Um, made a play, you know what I mean, just threw a, threw a, threw a fade to the slot. Um, you know, we got the guy on the ground, still had a chance to defend the red zone, and ultimately had a chance to to, to, to win the game on fourth down and just couldn't get it done. Coach, we got a couple more hands up. We're going to go to David Lake at, inside the U. David, go ahead. Yeah, Coach, just wanted to get your assessment of Tyler. Uh, you know, at the end end of the game, I guess he, he did have solid numbers, but it, it was a little bit of a rough go in the start. Just from your point of view, what, what was happening there in the in the beginning with Tyler? It was tough. I mean, it's it's Tyler's – I mean. I mean, he's been so impressive, but he hasn't seen, you know, the atmosphere of what he came into today. I mean, it's, it's still your first Miami Florida State game on the road, and that was a, you know, 
that's you know in the three trips up here now i mean that that's as as, as rowdy of a crowd as, as we've had to go again so it just it took him a while to settle down like it took a lot of guys on our team uh a while to settle down he, he missed some throws we had some guys deep you know we've been hitting our shots over the last few weeks and we didn't hit our shots early but what was great about tyler is that he, he didn't flinch um got back in the game made some big time plays I mean, that one out of the goal off the goal line to rambo was phenomenal the one he stuck it on the rambo on the fourth down was great so it, to me it's I mean, the stats are one thing, but to me, it's about the way he grew into the game um, and um, and the way he played in the second half. You know, I'm very, very proud of him for, again, we forget, you know, still being a young guy and, and um, a rookie on the road in, in very adverse conditions. Last two for you, Coach. First, we'll go to Brian London. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Coach, just could you address the number of penalties, the number of penalty yards, and maybe how that impacted the game? It certainly did in the first half. I mean, it set us, it set us, um, you know, just help them set, set them on uh, short fields, short down distance situations. Um, just to, you know, again, just guys that I think too amped up, too hyped up. Um, and it just, and just, you know, in an emotional setting and emotional type game, um, not as disciplined as we needed to be. Last one for you, coach. We got Daryl Streeter from Football Bill. Daryl, go ahead. Coach, um, how you doing? At the, at the end of the game, 58 seconds left there at the goal line. Did the thought to let them score? What, what went into that decision? Did that thought come into your mind or no? Yeah, no, that, that was that was a conversation that we had. Um, it was just such a strange situation up by five there, uh, holding the two timeouts, and it's you know still not a. They had to get it in. You know, if 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 they're if it was one two where they're they're already in field goal range, you know, it's a little bit of a different situation there. But um, you know. You know, the, the idea was, could, could you outfight them? And, and obviously they had to have some urgency to get it in. You know, they, they couldn't wait and let it go that long um, as well. So, yeah, but yes, to, to your point, that was uh, that was discussed. And uh, the freshman uh, DBs on the back end, James go down, and now you're left with um, Williams and, and Cam. Access how, how they played in, in, a, in a, such a huge game atmosphere like this. I mean, they battled, man. I mean, it's hard. It, it, it's the same thing. I mean, I mean those guys are they're, they're, they're special kids. They're special for what they're doing, but they're still, I mean, they're still rookies playing on the road in Tallahassee, you know. I mean, Avante's been playing for three three games now and basically had to play the entire game, got safety there. Um, you know, even Cam, you know, I mean, Cam, um, I mean, the guy is so conscientious, tries to do everything right, you know, and, and um, got put in some tough situations tonight, just in coverage and, and out in the field. So those guys are going to learn from this. You know, I mean, this this will not sit well. This defeat will be hard for our guys. It's it's emotional there, but they can use us as fuel. And this is what this rivalry is all about. That was the proper moment for State game. It's been a few years since we'd had one of those, and, and they'll know and they'll understand what this game will mean when we get them back in Hard Rock next year. Coach, thank you very much for spending a few minutes with us tonight. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.